Hello, welcome to this little class on how to use reference solutions. I am Kara and I am the adult services librarian and I will be going through how to use this resource. Uh, so, Reference Solutions was formerly known as Reference USA. It has business and residential data, and it's great for doing uh, research on businesses or uh, creating like a marketing or a business plan, and also for locating specific, in specific people. It has seven business databases and four consumer databases. And how the business databases are compiled is they collect information from phone directories, business sources, such as public records and other notices. And then they have a team that verifies the contact for each of the businesses. And so what we provide access to is that database that is compiled. So the first thing I'm going to do is share how to access this resource. And here I am on the Oregon Public Library's website, which is oregonpubliclibrary.org. And now we are going to navigate to research and discovery. So from the research and discovery page, you will need to scroll down. The resources are listed alphabetically. So you'll scroll down to reference solutions. And then you'll click on reference solutions. At this point, if you are off site, um, if you're not at the library, you will be asked for your library card number. And that is how we verify that our card holders are who are using this resource. So the first thing I'm going to share is how to search for local businesses. So I'm going to go ahead and click on US businesses. And I can search for specific business by name, but I'm looking to see kind of the businesses in the area. So I'm going to click on advanced search. And it's thinking here, just a moment. There we go. It usually doesn't take that long. I wonder if the webinar system is making it slow down. So for the records, um, here it has 16,000, 16 million records here. Um, and so these are of the verified businesses. You can expand your search by including also unverified information. Um, so some of this information may not be as accurate. And then you can also include closed um, businesses or out of business records. So this is stuff, you know, that's historical, the company has changed or moved or has been contacted in a while. I really want the verified businesses, the most reliable information. So we're going to do that. And then um, we can narrow this by a lot of different aspects. So we could do area code 608 or um, zip codes, but I'm going to go ahead and select city and state. So I'll go down to Wisconsin. And then we have all these cities and Oregon is on here. So I will go ahead and select Oregon. All right, so now I've selected some records um, and I'm going to update count. So this takes me down from over 16 million to 515 businesses that are identified as being in Oregon. So that's still a lot of things to go through. So I'm going to go ahead and click on business size. And I'm really looking for like medium sized businesses. So I'll say um, 50 employees to 249. And I'll update these results again. And we're down to 10. So here are these businesses that are between 50 and 249 employees. So uh, just, just a few here. If you want to review a specific um, business, you can either click on the company, company name or select it and, um, oops, nope, sorry. Review would be to 
Uh, never mind. Okay. So if we want more information, we can click on it. And then here is the information on this company. Um, if you want more details, you can also click on that. That's where you get the information. Review is to like change contact information and that's not what we want. Um, you can also do a heat map um, and it shows where the businesses are located and then you can pick additional criteria uh, to see what um, they're near, if they're by police departments or convenience stores or with the population density. So that is good, a good tool for visualization. Um, there's also a summary um, where, oh, I didn't have any records selected. So I'll go ahead and select the records and click on summary. And then you can um, view it by these different aspects. So these certain codes or an employee size, and then you can get the summary of that information. Um, so that can give you some helpful information about these particular businesses. I'll go back to the results. And let's go on chart. Okay, so charts only work when there are um, 50 to 500,000 results. So we would need to make this a more broad search for the charts to work, but it's another data visualization tool where you can see um, how various aspects are laid out. Um, and then we can also download these results in like an Excel spreadsheet or we can print them. Uh, or there is now a save feature where you uh, can save the search result in a profile that you create on this website. So we can find out a bunch of information about local businesses. Um, and now I'm going to go back to this homepage and we'll talk a little bit about local demographics. So what we are gonna click on are US consumers and lifestyles. And again, if you're looking for a specific person or something like that, um, you can type that in there or you can search by a certain lifestyle category, you know, like politics or um, beauty or, you know, whatever. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and go on advanced search. And then I want to know um, one contact per household and then based on a zip code, and I'm going to not put in Oregon for privacy reasons. Um, I'll go ahead and put in um, a different zip code. And then we're gonna do um, an update count. So that takes us to 14,000. So um, let's go ahead and view the results. So these are people, and then we can look at different charts and summaries. So here I'll go in um, with the charts, and you can see um, from the zip code, the um, household income or the estimated home value, um, and then you can compare it to the state or um, <laughs> the city. Uh, or th those sorts. So it's a it's another visualization tool. You can look at a different area and uh, kind of see what's going on with that. Um, I'm going to look at the summary here, and here's where we can look at some different tools. Let's look at age, and then we'll do a second one of homeowner. Um, so here we have a chart where you can see um, the number of homeowners on the age, so you can see different trends um, and that sort of thing. So there's a lot of data and statistical analysis that you could do with the information um, that is provided in here. And again, you have all these different tools, um, the heat map and, um, and that sort of thing to look at. So we'll look at, I don't know, we have some different attractions in here and um, that sort of thing. 
So that is local demographics. And the last thing I'm going to do is um, look through those white pages. So I am going to, um, you can look based on a name, which is what I'll do this time, rather than doing the advanced search. But this, this acts as what used to be called a crisscross. Um, you can look up an address and get the name, or you can look up the name and get the address. Um, I'll go in with John Smith, have him in, I don't know, let's do Hawaii. And um, this will provide contact information for John Smith that live in Hawaii. And you'll see there's um, Jonathan or Jack, and so it does a variety of um, spellings and similar things to kind of expand the search as needed. And you can do, again, all these different tools based on that name. So that is what I had planned to share about reference solutions. Um, if you have any questions or need any help using this resource, you can reach out to us at the Oregon Public Library. You can call us at 835-3656, or you can email us at orlib at oregonlibrary.org. So that's O-R-E-L-I-B at oregonlibrary.org. Thanks.